Last night was the second night at the Joshua Tree National Park. It was a hot day in the evening, cooled down. From the tent, I could see the stars in the sky. And compared to that, I'm this little existence. Had a nice sleep. And the thought about the stars in the sky, millions of them, and me contrasting, reminded me of the word by Matsushita, Jiko Kansho, Japanese. Jiko itself, Kansho is looking at or reflection. So to study about who I am, what I'm doing. And that's like a star full of stars and me as a reflection in my mind. I have a video called Mirror Mind. That's the technique on meditation, talking about the two universes. One is the universe out there, infinite. And the other universe is the universe of the mind. Finite. Mirror mind is to know the difference. I always come back to this Zen saying branches, shadow of the branches move on the floor, but dust on the floor doesn't move. So there's something moving and there's something not moving. Another example is the waves and ocean. Waves are moving, but the ocean at the center is not moving. It's the relationship of infinite and finite existence. And to see both of them. I think I got all this experience of getting upset, going through the difficulties and thought before. His awakening is why do I feel this miserable in myself? So I looking at myself miserable. That's the two universes existing in our being. Wave and ocean, stars and me. Saichi the Yokoni, a sect of the Shin Buddhism, said every now and then anger pops up and reflect on that and won't go back to the God or Buddha because the Buddha is going to help him or save him. So the Buddha is the limited. Same relationship between those two universes, but you can see those two in one grasp. Then there's the same here, the connection, opening, awakening, find the insight. Nakayama a cousin and I met many times in Japan and he's got the scientific background but into the many books he's written. And one of the books was about the dog and then he was talking about don't get caught up in the things in life. That's the training. And if you keep doing the training every day, then you get to know and find that uh, you don't get caught up in things in life as much. To go through that takes time, energy, repetition, but that's the training.
training, he says. When he passed away, I heard this story from his daughter. He was talking to a doctor in the bed in the hospital, and the doctor looked around to talk with someone, and then coming back to talk with Nakayama, he was already gone. Nice ending. Interesting. I remember a story of the Aisetsu. He had the tears coming up when his good friend, Kitaro Nishida, passed away. Genuine human being is the sense I had. With many years of training, it doesn't work. Oh, look, there's a road runner coming nearby. I wish I can take a picture. Oh, wow. He just passed by. Maybe he listened to my story. First time I saw road runner. Isn't that the appearance of the infinite <laughs> looking at me talking about the relationship between the infinite and the finite vast universe and me looking at myself jikokansho self observation Just to summarize, I want to capture what Nakayama said again. Don't get caught up in things in life. If you train yourself every day, be sincere and truthful. Here's the bird again flying over me. Oh, that's the road run again. Anyway, I don't know what, why he came looking at me. It is very interesting. To know I am here, connect to the infinite. Sun's gonna come up and this shade may be gone in a couple hours and then we go down.